What is field symbol? Field symbol is like a data object, but it is used to point to another data object. When a field symbol points to a data object, and then when we access the value of the field symbol, it is the same as we access the data object. Field symbol is used to create a programming logic that is dynamic or dynamic programming. Okay, for more clear, we create a new program with name zabab44. We save as a local object. We create a data object, for example, with name v underscore int with type integer. And then we create a field symbol with name fs and with type, for example, any type. This means that the field symbol can point to all data type. And then we add start of selection event. And then we assign a value to the data object, for example, 5. And then we assign the data object to the field symbol. This means the field symbol points to the data object. And then we change the value of the field symbol. But before that, we check whether the field symbol points to the data object. And then we change the value of the field symbol. For example, 20. And then we set a breakpoint by using keyword break dash point. And then we save and activate the program. And then we also set a breakpoint at the top by using session breakpoint. Okay, we run the program. We enter into debugging mode. We run the program line by line. We see the data object value. The value is 5. And then we see the field symbol value. The field symbol does not point to any data object yet. We continue running the program. And then we see again the field symbol value. The field symbol value is the same as the data object value. And then we continue running the program. We see, when the field symbol is changed, the data object is also changed. Because the field symbol points to the data object. Okay, that is the example how the field symbol works. And now we will see how field symbol works if we use in an internal table looping. We delete the codes first and then we activate the program and then we go to transaction code SE11, we display table slide. For example, we want to read this data and store in an internal table data object. And then we change field seats occupied become zero. Okay, we go back again to the program. And then we create an internal table data object with type to tables flight. And then we create a field symbol like line of the internal table. We get the data of flight from tables flight and then we store in internal table it underscore flight. 
where carrier ID equal to AA. And then we loop the internal table into field symbol by using keyword assigning. And then we change field seats occupied. When we use field symbol in a looping, we do not need to transfer the changes to the internal table by using keyword modify because the field symbol has already pointed to the row of the internal table. Okay, we save and activate the program. And then at the end of the program, we set a breakpoint. And then we save and activate the program. And then at the top of the program, we set a session breakpoint. We run the program. We see the content of the internal table. The content of the internal table is still empty. And then we execute one line of the source codes. And then we see the internal table. We see the field seats occupied. And then we continue running the program. And then we see the internal table content again. The seats occupied fields are zero. Okay, that is the example how to use field symbol in an internal table looping. And then I want to show you again another example of using field symbol. We go to SE11. We display table PMCO. This table is for CO module. We see there are fields with name WRT00 until WRT16. For example, we want to sum or total the value of field WRT01 until WRT16 by using field symbol. Okay, we see the content of the table. There are too many data. Okay, we filter the data only with year 2017. There is only one row of data. In your SAP server, data may be different, but you just get one record of data from the table. We will sum the field WRT01 to WRT16. We go back again to the program. And then we declare a structured data object with type to PMCO table. And then we declare a field symbol. And then we get one row of data from table PMCO. And then we store in the structured data object. The criteria may be different in your SAP server. We save and activate the program. And then we loop 16 times. And then we declare a data object with name inc for increment. And then before the loop, we set the value of the object to 1. And then we declare again a data object for storing the string of the increment data object. And then we declare again a data object for storing the number of the increment data object. And then 
we assign the increment data object to num underscore inc and then we assign num underscore inc to str underscore inc and then we create a data object for storing field name with name field name and then we concatenate the field name to the field name data object And then we assign the field name to the field symbol. And then we declare a data object for storing the total. And then we add the total with the value of the field symbol. But we have to check whether the field symbol points to the data object. And then after that, we unassign the field symbol from pointing the data object. And then we increase the increment. We save and activate the program. And then at the end of the program, we set a breakpoint. We activate the program. And then before the loop, we also set a breakpoint. We run the program. The first index loop, the increment data object is 1, and then numc underscore inc is 0, 1, and then str underscore inc is also 0, 1. And then the field name is wa underscore pmco dash wrt01. The field symbol is not assigned yet. We execute one line of the codes. The field symbol is assigned and the value is 0. And then we continue running the source codes. At the end of the loop, the total is 200,000. Okay, that are the example of using field symbol. In the future, you may need to create a LV grid with dynamic fields. And of course, you have to use field symbol. Okay, this is the end of this chapter. Thank you.